Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, indexes and we will start off by looking at the S&P 500. And uh, the S&P 500 has completely erased all the uh, losses of uh, 2020, basically from the, uh, from the coronavirus. So we have this V-shaped recovery and at this point we are just going to go higher, higher and higher. Um, I could basically say, uh, give a, a plenty of reasons why we should not be here, but as long as the Federal Reserve is, um, is going to bail uh, Wall Street out, we are going to go higher. We have had only two major sell-offs since March. That was basically one is here and one is here. That is it. Other than that, everybody is technically buying. So this is not, if you compare the growth and the S&P 500 um, and the real economy, those do not correlate. This has nothing to do uh, with the fundamentals of the United States economy or the world economy that, for that. Uh, this has all to do with basically the Fed bailing out Wall Street. And uh, last week, we got another indication that, uh, that the Federal Reserve is willing to basically destroy the dollar uh, in order to uh, technically save the stock market. So having that in mind, this market will just go higher until the Federal Reserve stops or until it just gets ridiculously overvalued which is which is which is uh, already the case and that is probably the reason why I just stopped buying stocks which I want to hold because if you look at the PE ratio for most of these stocks that are growing or basically causing this uh, this growth they are absolutely ridiculous uh, they make no sense. They are way, way, way overvalued. And if you look at the actions of, for example, uh, legendary investors at this point, they were all selling. For example, Warren Buffett, he probably made, I think it was 22 trades he made in uh, the, the trade he made in uh, 2020. And I think there were 17 of them that are selling where he basically sold. So where he is selling is basically all of the financial uh, stocks that he has. So banks, he basically got rid of most of those stocks. Uh, airlines got completely rid of those. And he's basically investing in uh, stocks that he usually has been very critical of. For example, gold. He's been he's basically been buying shares and companies that basically are, are are in the gold industry, and that is not a very good sign because gold is something that you invest in if you think that the market is going to tank, and at this point, gold is exploding to the upside while the, uh, the while the indexes are also exploding to the upside, and that is not something that usually happens. Usually gold uh, increases when the market basically collapses. Uh, not They're not supposed to, to increase at the same time. So be aware of the indexes, uh, I have to say, because this is, um, this is growing uh, and people are getting richer uh, from this, but this is just a car accident waiting to happen. Um, so if we look at historically at um, the, uh, this index, this move here is not a move because of recession. This is just a massive pullback, similar to the one that we had in 2018-19. And, uh, this is not a recession. If we go back to historically, uh, for 
months, uh, we can basically see what happened in in uh, 2000 to 2002. This is the dot com bubble. It takes two years to go to all the way down to the uh, bottom of the market. It fell around uh, in dot com bubble. It fell around 50 percent. And if we look at the Great Recession, the same thing here. We it took two years in order to bottom, and it went all the way. Uh, it fell fifty six point eight percent. This is not a sign of recession. This is just a massive pullback. Uh, so I expect uh, us to to. At some point, um, within the next few months, to see uh, the effects that the coronavirus has had on the United States economy, we are not seeing that at this point in the in the indexes, and uh, that should be alarming because at this point we should be uh, lower than this. Fairly lower than that, uh, but but uh, if you want to trade on fundamentals, you'll probably lose money at this point. Instead, if you follow the technical indicators, then then you probably earn a lot more money, and that is what I'm going to do. Uh, as long, but I am going to basically set stop losses every single time I buy in this market because. Uh, when this turns to the to the um, to the downside, it will be really ugly, really fast, because this is just a massive bubble. There's no uh, other way to interpret this that uh, when you compare it to the United States economy, that this is a massive bubble. But the blue line here, which is uh, the twenty exponential moving average, has been. Uh, very supportive. Um, every single time we get close to this um, uh, twenty moving uh, exponential moving average, this market has gone higher. At this moment, we are way overbought. Um, we are still not ready to cross the signal line, so we probably see a Monday going a little bit higher, then going lower. Sorry, uh, we are at the top of the Bollinger Band, and the stochastic is basically indicating that we'll go lower. So um, at this point, uh, short time pullbacks to the uh, twenty exponential moving average that it will be around uh, three thousand four hundred, something like that, is buying opportunity, um, and you should basically uh, make a stop uh, stop loss right underneath. Uh, if this market were basically to collapse, but at this point, short time pullbacks is um, is the way to go. Um, I have no interest in basically shorting this market because um, I want this market to basically uh, cross all of these moving averages, even the fifty moving average, and probably go past uh, this um, support area here and this support area here before I uh, expect this market to go to the all-time lows. So there's a lot of uh, support underneath. But as I said, this doesn't really make any sense. This is basically the action of the Fed uh, buying everything and ensuring that everybody uh, that that this market goes higher. But fundamentally, this makes no sense. So Dow Jones. Uh, here, so we did go much higher. Here, uh, we did go much higher last week. I expected this market to go and trade sideways, uh, but uh, no. Uh, similar to the S and P five hundred, we just go up, 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 and um, it has been fairly. Uh, Volatile is much more volatile than S and P five hundred and the the Nasdaq, and um, there are a few um, uh, moving average that have been significant support, 
First of all, the 50 moving average, we had tested it several times. Uh, then the white line here, which is the 40 exponential moving average, and then the 20 exponential moving average, which have been supported. So um, if this were to break down, then we could go all the way down to the 50 moving average, but I don't expect us to go lower than that. That is the best buying opportunity that you can get. Um, at this point, buying the dips is the way to go. Um, if we look at uh, technical indicators, we are above the signal line, heading upwards. We are fairly overbought at this point, and we are at the top of the Bollinger Band. And usually when we get to this area of the Bollinger Band, we have a pullback. A stochastic is indicating that we will cross the signal line and we'll go trading, uh, we'll head downwards. So we'll probably see something uh, to this where we go up, uh, go get close to the uh, 20 exponential moving average, and then we'll continue upwards. We have uh, fairly filled this gap, and the only major resistance at the moment is the all time highs of uh, 30,000. That just sounds stupid. I know uh, you have ma you have eleven percent unemployment. Um, second quarter GDP in the United States fell by thirty two percent, thirty one percent, something like that. One quarter of the United States economy just vanished, and we are at all time highs. Talk about being ridiculous, but that is ridiculous. But that's the world we live in. We don't uh, rely on uh, companies' earnings anymore. We rely on the on the, uh, office in the Federal Reserve in order to get this market higher. So Nasdaq. So we are still trading within this um, area here. Uh, we can basically get something like that. And and there, and we are basically trading within this um, upward trajectory um, channel, and I love trading channels um, because they are really predictable, and it gives the opportunity to buy and sell. However, I would not sell the Nasdaq. Um, it is uh, it is uh, the tech companies, and it's basically the tech companies that uh, push these market hires apple amazon uh, alphabet uh, netflix and so on have all uh, or in facebook have all um, historic earnings and are getting extremely rich uh, from the coronavirus and so on so this is not a market that you should sell you should wait for uh short-term pullbacks in order to buy these dips at this uh, at this point we are significantly overbought uh, but uh, macd is quite far away from the signal line so we're not going to go lower probably anytime soon maybe on tuesday wednesday and something like that we'll probably go uh, a pullback i expected a pullback here but no, on Friday, or usually on Fridays, the indexes go higher. Um, uh, stochastic as well is indicating that we'll go lower. But the, of the of the three indexes, this is not an index you should short. You should wait for uh, short time pullbacks. And the blue line here, uh, the twenty exponential moving average has been significant support. And underneath, we have this channel, which also is significant support. Then we have the uh, 40 exponential moving average and the 50 mo exponential moving average. Um, so I would not be a seller in this market until we get down to uh, 10,000 again. And um, at this point, I don't expect us to go down there anytime soon. Um, even though... Some of these tech companies have uh, have uh, announced record earnings. Some of them are fairly overvalued, uh, especially their stock. If you look at their PE ratio, for most of these companies, they are absolutely ridiculous. 
Uh, yeah, so, but you can trade fundamentals or you can just trade these, uh, these uh, technical indicators and I would bet on the technical indicators because um, they have been working uh, all the way back to end of March. And uh, yes, until we have a significant breakthrough of 10,000, this market will just go higher. So I hope you find this uh, video interesting and you are welcome to support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and the like button and the bell button if you want to see our newest videos. Uh, thank you very much and uh, good luck. And thank you very much.